Where did you find most of your cars? Well, I've been, like I say, I've been doing this thing since I got parts here that I had when I was uh, 14 years old. So, you know, yeah, he, st he started when he was 15. <coughs> this is going to be you here. This will be me one day. Years. Bob, it looks kind of like you, uh, anything old and cool you collect, huh? Uh, yeah. I, I tell you what, that's right. Oh boy. The radio's here. Yeah. Just your radio stockpile. So, and then yeah. you got the coring bit and or the drilling bit. Oh, I'm having a Howard Carter moment. Uh, <laughs> You know Howard Carter, King. The, he found the, King Tut's tomb in yeah, what, 1920? Oh, and yes, so he like yes. opened it up and found that. He says that every time we get to these, places, like, we're gonna because to us this is treasure. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it is for him too. Yeah, yeah. What brand is the bus? We converted. We up to Brill, yeah. What What's the bus? Do you know? <laughs> we we used what, to what, convert. What's the manufacturer? MCI. MCI, yeah. Does it have a screaming Detroit in it? Yeah, that eight. Uh, yeah, eight cylinder diesel. Yeah. Hmm. I, uh, that's an interesting deal. We, uh, I did have a small fiberglass bus, and we decided to go to New York and the Maine around. And we took that, and I got back and I said, you know, I'd like to have a basement model. So I went to Denver, come home with three of them. <laughs> <laughs> so we converted two of them, one of them in Michigan, one went to uh, Florida. Florida. Really cool. Yeah. We've done that for a while. <laughs> were they, uh, were they old inner city buses that would just, they what? used them up? Yeah. No, those, uh, those MCIs, they were over the road buses. Oh. In trust, they trust Radial arm saw and a drill press. Yeah. Wow. That looks like old farm machinery. Yeah. Yeah. That is that old, that old drill there. It's very old to old, 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 Yeah, the old drill there. Wow. Had a big flush behind you there. Very neat. <laughs> had a big vice. Yeah. And then had a big anvil. Oh, the anvil's from Florida. Yeah. Anvil, anvil's will sell nicely. Vice will sell pretty good. How do you advertise? Uh, just eBay. Oh, yeah. oh, you sell on eBay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. I had a nice big old tractor there. Which one is that one? That's a 400. Is, is that the diesel one? No. Oh. I have a 322 that has the liquid cooled. Oh, yeah. No, okay. okay, now this car here is the. 50, no, uh, 64. Yeah. Now there is, Caliente! That's, that's convertible. Yo Comet es muy caliente. Ha ha ha. Now this is one reason I tried to get a hold of you earlier. You had a, uh, it was up to Fort, Mor uh, Fort Col uh, uh, Colorado Springs from Pueblo to a sale. I th think you guys had a sale up there. Hmm, there. Pueblo would have been Steve's? I don't know. I think that's the uh, only... Was it, was it an actual I was... sale? Well, no, uh, he was out at Wrecking Yard. And then, yeah, yeah, that would have been at Steve's, yeah. yeah. He had one of these there front ends that I needed for this. Uh -oh. oh. And I tried to get hold of these so I could find out what place it was. Hmm, yeah, yeah I've, I've got a four-door also that would be probably the right parts car for this. Do you ever think about this on this thing? Kennedy was killed on in, uh, 63. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the 63 big car, Lincoln, 
is identical to front end of this. Yeah, yeah. So I call it the Smith Mini Lincoln. Mini Lincoln, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can see that easily. Now this one I have title to. I'll talk about the titles. But, uh, I, I see all the states are going to. Uh, if you don't have title, you go with a builder style. Have you oh. seen that? Yeah, bill of sale, and then no, they... it's, it's a non-bonded. They call it non-bonded, bonded uh, title. Yeah, every state is different. They all do it their own way. No, we, don't, uh, we don't have bonded titles, do we? I don't think. I think Texas does. Colorado probably. But, uh, this is a project I started. And I haven't got <laughs> back to, but it's sitting on a. Uh, Nissan diesel. Oh, yeah. Uh, running gears, and it's the diesel. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that bell housing doesn't work, right? Wow. Paula SS. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. 65. Now, this is a. This is a I'm surprised it's not full. Huh? I'm surprised it's not more full. Oh, more full. <laughs> it's got some windshields and stuff in there. Oh, Galaxy 500 truck. 65 to 8 Galaxy is my favorite. Oh, is that right? I love these little cars. Now, there's a hood off of the 58 yep. uh, Ford, and this is, I think, the. Um, okay, the. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's all pretty dry now. But here's this, the, uh, and that's the hood for the front door too. Yeah. Did you have this one for one of your projects? No. It's just, uh, yes, it's just out there for projects. Yeah. Wow. Now the old GMC truck there's got a, had a new crate engine put in it, but it just quit driving it. Really? Money back, sort of thing, or tell you what, she's 83, I'm 84 years old. Really? We're just <laughs> running out of time, <laughs> so it's time for me to clean up a little bit. Sure, I would, I would not have guessed you guys were that old, <laughs> but uh, this Thank you. not that, not that that's old. <laughs> this, well, let's this get there. This is super sport, and four doors right there, the parts car, yeah, and it's a really nice car, it got air in there, everything. What year? Uh, 65. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's an old, about a 50 there. I'm not sure exactly. See any four doors? So, you real good body on that one. Yeah, 50. Yeah, yeah. This was a good running car when parked, but the transmission is giving a little trouble. Yeah. The motor should be getting out. We were just talking about it on the way here on. The reason why some cars end up in places like this, you know, one little thing went out and the owner was just I'm done with it, I'm ready to move on, and and no one took up the torch, and, and there she sat. A little bit sad, but no, that's the front end off of 56. Yeah, or 60, 66. Yeah, 66. Yeah, and the one in front there is the 65. Yeah. Let's see if we got some 64 galaxies. Oh, you got several 60. I, I have a good story about my 64 Galaxy, the red one. It's, a, it's about that condition. The, he had bought it years ago in the back of some shop. I'll go to his place. And then he showed it to me when I was out in my yard. And I had a young kid with me. And he's like, yeah, well, I'll go see if I can work it. It's too small. Oh, no, it's one of those sitting in the back of the shop and been being worked on. And he hopped up, and 30 minutes later, he's driving it out of the out of the yard. He had put some air in tires, drove it out. The trailing arm was brushed, so it was a little bit janky in the back, but drove it right up to the shop. Well, I don't know if you noticed it. These old cars, if you 
messing with one that's uh, before they put this ethanol in them, mm -hmm. they usually freeze the motor quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you have, get one that's had the ethanol in it, it froze up immediately. We, uh, yeah, you can easily tell that as a car. Now this little Thunderbird, uh, it's got all the dashes and panels and everything for it in the building. There's the, the butter bumper is someplace there. Yeah. It's, the bumper's over in front of the. Yeah, uh, it's your favorite thing. Dodge here. Yeah, '61. He, he doesn't like these Dodge. He doesn't. Oh no, the sixty, the sixty four is the one that I don't like. I like that car. And I like that's, that a, that's a convertible too. The, the front yeah. is always is a goofy styling for me with that kind of big hump there. Yeah. You know, but the back looks great. I like the back. What year was it where they went? Uh, didn't they have the big turn signal in here? Wasn't there one that was like those big? Cut out scallops. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But, uh, yeah, that's the convertible there. Old Virgil Exner, he went pretty wild. On something like this, that I mean, I think it's a 63 and a half, but no motor. What, uh, what, what approximate prices do you have on ones like that? I'd have to look that up, but I probably have maybe about five thousand. I, I could be clear, you know. I just think you, you know, you just need to make the offer on it. I usually go to the uh, cool car class book, you know, evaluation. Yeah. Kind of looking at these, like that sixty ones, that one there. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of room to work on that and come out. Yeah, especially that, yeah. You know, they had that car there fixed up, what, $70,000 now? The thing is, fixing it up. Fixed all of it up. Yeah, the, the intro, yeah, the intro we, always, we always say the introduction is the lowest payout. Yeah. Because you know, they're finding all the little parts. It's the labor, it's the fixing the, mat, the metal, it's the paint job. Hmm. You have a $20,000 paint job on some of them. Yeah. Well, now <laughs> all the, uh, I've got all the parts for that one. Yeah. This one here, I, in fact, it, it's to be a kind of convertible. Oh. All those parts to convertible for it. You have a what? All the parts to make a convertible out of that. Really? So you you found all the the convertible specifics there. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't have the frame. Yeah, I'm good. Or do you have a frame? Or did you have a convertible parts car that basically... Or a convertible parts car. Nice. You got the title to it, to the convertible and everything. Huh. And, uh, No, that yellow one's a convertible. Now here's, here's some parts. Here's the front end off of the six. Why don't we go down this line over here and we can come back up there. Okay. But uh, yeah, that, that 65 there really shouldn't be tore up, but uh, to make that convertible is what I need. Yeah. Yep, sometimes you gotta kill a nice one. United Airlines tug. Yeah. We got a couple of those. <laughs> did, you, did you use the tugs or? Oh yeah. Wow. Well. What do they have? Just like a Wisconsin engine in them? Or that's a, like a, a Ford Industrial. No, it's that uh, Chrysler engine. Six oh, flat six. No. Oh, flat that's that's the, the flat flathead. Yeah. Well, then this Pontiac here. There's a parts car for that convertible over there. Sure. sure. Yep. Uh, there's this Dodge is the parts car to that convertible. And if, then, if someone, I was wondering if someone's, you know, across the country would want that convertible, but they wouldn't want the parts car, you know, because they don't want to pay the double, basically double shipping, mm -hmm. you know, if they have a parts car already. But you don't want to sell the parts car until you know someone yeah. bought that one.
there's an, there's uh, well, let's see. Now in here is another another one of these Dodge yeah. hard top. Oh. Now I think that's a beautiful car too. Oh, I see. You know, you put those fog lights in the front of these things, it makes them look really different. Hmm. Small fog, fog uh -huh. Are these all Phoenix models? Yes. Yeah. This one won't sell. It's uh, my uh, daughter's got a the 65 convertible sitting down down the hill there. Yep. Now this is the other 61 hardtop, double top. Yep. And it's really it, to me. I think it's got a beautiful. Well, it's a salvage wagon, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> Makes a good little shed. I guess it's open top, but protected. Yeah. You said this one had a beautiful. Oh, is this the is this the convertible parts for that other one, or is this convertible parts for this one? The parts, uh, convertible parts. Uh, yeah, there's a top rack. Uh, well, it, it's stripped all down. It's in the building. Had a lot of parts to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this this one here is pretty much complete, except for motor and transmission. Body really seems to be nice on this one. Only well, we got the one, this window on this side. Well done. Well, well, yeah, you you take us wherever you expect to get into here. Now, this is my nice old board. Yeah, 51. 51. What's that picture? Angle killer. I don't know how you like them. These are all pickups. You just you just take us however. We like we like anything old. But this is this one here. Uh, it's a beautiful truck you can tell the peasant who just got after it. A little shot out the windows. But it don't it's a really nice pickup. I'm gonna get rid of that one. One of these across to England. That's a good thing about this shoe. What's this here? Well, here's the old DLC here. Mm -hmm. Now, this truck is really a nice truck. The only thing we're going to check on it is I'm sure it's an old county truck. And I think they must have changed cabs. The serial number's not, it's, it's got a title. It's, uh, everything matches up good, huh? What's the what's the serial number? It's a. I it's I got it's a it's a fifty one or two. I know no. Yeah. I but what do you mean? What did you think this thing's cast? Well, I never I did check because it's oh. just the. Still good. You can see where they you can see where they cut it yet. Yeah. Like the other. Guys, the farmers in our area will sometimes do that if it's been. You know, that's what they did here. From used to be an old, I'm sure, an old, small old dump truck. Short bed, yeah. <laughs> so this is here. Super duty hood. <laughs> yeah. Super duty. Yeah. Now the only thing we're missing here is that the box side in here is rusty. Yeah. Down in there, but look at the gear shift on that one. Have you seen those for a while? On this. Oh, oh yeah. that's like the. It's like I have an old Air Force uh, yeah. oh, uh, crew cab. I'm trying to part it together so I can sell it, and it's got that shifter on the back. Yeah. But this is a good running truck, and it's got the big engine in it. Yeah. It's Dodge. Do you do you see? Do you watch uh, Silas on YouTube? Uh, Vince is made from scratch. Yeah. He's another Kansas guy okay. close to us. Mm -hmm. He he loves these Dodges. Yeah. Now the old 61 Munich body is uh, came out of the, as a six cylinder, but it's going to be easy there. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. I don't see anything that's ever been too serious on it. You say that again. Nothing yeah, too serious. No, 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 no. Quite straight. straight. And then Six. in our area, it rusts out right through here. So now I think in this one here. Yeah, it's right down the steps. Yeah. 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 
No. If there's something solid left to weld to, you can fix anything. Yeah. Just got to decide how much time you want to put in it. Stations like Jersey. And that old saw is a That's a saw, isn't it? And I can't uh, believe nobody won that because I think they got that four cylinder tractions in there. Oh, really? I don't, I don't know Saab's. Yeah, it's a Swedish. I know, well, I know what Saab's is. Yeah, cool, and then... But that is a nice car there, with, except for the uh, bumper from bumper. Yeah. What, what I found on kind of oddball cars like that, there are people who want to put their team up on the team. California silica. Wow. Dasher should be? Yeah. Well, look at you. <laughs> That's a sunroof model. A Rio Speedwagon. You know, I didn't know they made a snub nose version of them. Hmm. Those can't be common. Because the Rios themselves just, aren't that common. We see those as a gold comet, but I don't think we've ever seen one badged as a speed wagon. No, had, I had two speed wagons. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. You're the truck guy more than me. Farm or something? That came out of Brighton out of the fruit farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Now, this truck, all the parts for the cat front and everything. Do you get much market for the bigger, for the farm trucks and bigger? Actually, the paper from the farm trucks are the best buyers. Really? I mean, because obviously the cab is the same, the hood is the same on the Ford, the grill is the same. But like the Chevys, the whole front clip is different. You know, I'm thinking the 50s or the late 40s or the 50s. Now, this is 54 where it's got the, it's the new, the changeover. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. The rest of the truck looks like that door, even if it scratches. You can buy that. They'll basically they'll they'll clean it up. I don't even put a gold coat on it just to protect that finish and then drive around like that. Though. I've seen that at some of the shows that yeah. you, you can't you can't. It's hard to fake true patina. Oh, this is cool. What is this? An electrical truck or something? Yeah, YW electric. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got ready kilowatt. <laughs> wow. That is neat. That's a, it's an F. A good a good sign painter could recreate that and save it. Oh, a good sign painter could not oh. save that. <laughs> Stupid peasant hunters. And hey, we saw a ton of peasants on the way here this morning. Yeah, they were all over the place. What's a what's a truck like this? It's a 53 bed on there, isn't it? Yeah, that's a different bed. Yeah, the bed's worth about as much too, right? I don't know if those are selling pretty good. Yeah. Is this Ford Corner here? Yeah, we're in. Let's go down here. Have you seen the 50? Let's go down here and come back down. Wow. Sixty-five. Oh, yeah, this, this is a six. six. Yeah. My dad had an old '63 LC500 parked out in the ditch when I was a kid, and I just he drove it in there, and I just I've always liked the vertical. Yeah, that is nice. Now this this car here, that's a '51. The hoods are out here someplace for it. 
But this thing here is all set up for the uh, 390 or 312 feet. Uh, see, oh, sure enough, it's all cut out. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. It's, oh, even the. Yeah, okay, they box that in. Box it in. But yeah. look inside this car. Yeah, this, that this is a nice car. Hoods around here, some of the Like those Victorias. And so, I've got them here to make. Yeah, I think you got two of them. Five of them here. Yeah, five Victorias. No, you, you will. You have, you have three, three right uh, here. Huh? So that's. Yeah. So I just pick them up and just yeah. always like them. Yeah. Now this is a Chevy. Chevy. Got the black black sheep amongst the Fords here. That's uh, started out to be the parts car of that convertible, but I don't oh. think I was going to get this. You know, Rob, it seems like the value anymore in the, in the four door suicide door. Really? Because hmm. everybody goes to swap meets, they can open those doors up. You've probably seen that. But... And right now they're all packed with junk. You know, I had tried to keep it. What I had, the poor Chevy stuff, kind of individual. This is a nice yep. car right there. It's a nice car yeah. on here, Victoria. Yeah, that would have been a pretty car in this day. Uh, let's see, that's a 54. Yeah, that's the actual, that's the actual crest line. And that's a 53 to go on. And, uh, Ooh, Tim. Yeah. Ooh, Tim. <laughs> the, uh... Beautiful car. Four door hard top. Yep. Yep. You know, you don't see a bunch of those and uh, I think that's a bit of I I actually like the style on that car better than I do the see the Yeah. They have a different roof, you know, that's yeah. a lower, more swept roof. This yeah. one's not too bad, but this one here, the front end off of this is what I was gonna put over on that convertible. Can sell that Canadian the, front end. Can, oh yeah. That is a 56 Ford. Yeah. So someone in the past had needed a front end and they found a Canadian pin and threw it on sort of thing? I done that. I changed that over back in... Oh, that someone 60. is you. Yeah. I done that, <laughs> done that back in about 63, 4, something right in there. Wow. Neat. Oh, here's that front end you found. Yeah. What do you, what do you use? Do you have a forklift out here for picking stuff up and moving? Uh, I got a couple of forklifts, so I use like tractors here to help with things. Stuff like this. Tractor. Yeah. Tractor probably won't pick up a car. Yeah. Oh. Well, and then we go down this line here. Let's see. Cadillacs, Tim. Yep. This is a 69. Drove it in here from Denver. Drove it in here from Denver and left it uncovered. Chain, chain. Yes. Sixty-eight. Uh, this is seven, I think. I think sixty-eight because it's got the little marker lights. See in the corners of the bumper. There, yeah, yeah there. It's usually why it's not bad against him on identifying parts and cars. Now this, I don't think I don't think I've ever beaten him. This car here is the parts car of this, this convertible that we got here. Hmm. And I don't, I've got enough on the tape. But I, maybe you could tell me on this Cadillac, the dash on this one curves in like a Corvette does. Hmm. Have you seen that in the Cadillacs? I'm I'm not real familiar. I know in '66 the Eldorado was, of course, still the rear wheel drive, and there were differences. Now those two cars they're supposed to go together. These here. Uh, the '66s, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so the LTD is the parts for the convertible. Uh, look at that pile there. Those are uh, funny. 
And then I got a box over here, it's got a five park to the draft. That's a one big uh, Jenga, not Jenga, Tim, what do you call them? Oh. Lego, one big Lego set. Yeah, model. It's a full scale model car kit. Sixty-seven, yeah. And that's a good, was a good one of our kids. Hmm. Kids came out and knocked the back window out of here, shot it out. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'll get out of your way here. I forget which one of this, this one, or I've got another one over here. I've got the Studebaker V8. The V8 in that little wagon? It's this one or this? I've got uh, one back over here. Yeah. Oh, this is, I like your truck here. Do you use this much? Quite a bit, yeah. Had, for the last couple of years, I haven't run. I, I've been at a different project for the last couple of years. Yeah. So I'm kind of behind on my work. I mean, you behind on your car stuff? No, this one here, it's just got a good quarter and stuff on it. You know. Oh. A V8 or six cylinder car? Uh, that's six cylinder. Yeah. Let's see. But it was. What year is the Halo bumper Chevy? 69. Oh, that's the one we saw from China. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now this old car here uh, was running real good when somebody uh, stole the carburetor off it, put on a tractor pull, and tractor mm. pull, <laughs> tractor. So it's got the engine and everything in it. Parts there, they back on the Ford that you all kept when you bought. Um, yeah. And I got a year old box. Oh, it's a two wheel drive, isn't it? Oh, it's a camper special. <laughs> this is 61. It's a piece of concrete? Yeah. Is that your smasher? No, they fell off. And you had to do work for that. <laughs> uh, well, I've, we've seen people guys lift them up and then have a free wheel, you know, drop and. Yeah. Crush the car enough to put on a, on a load or something. Yeah. Did you look at all these coming up this uh, way? I, I didn't. Did you? Okay. We didn't hear you talk about them either. Back, yeah, we'll come back up there, huh? Well, we can come back on that other side. Now, this here's a. Was a real good pickup here. It's got motor in it and everything. Yeah. And they got about three cabs here for us. <laughs> well, what happened to that cab? That, that one? I cut it off. <laughs> I was going to make a convertible out of it. Out of a truck? Yeah, but you cut it kind of wrong for that. <laughs> You're supposed to leave the window, window frame yeah, there. Yeah. That's a good one, six cylinder. These are cabs, like this. All our five this is this one's over there left. someplace. Oh. At least two here were what I left uh, to go on those uh, convertibles over there. Oh, Chevy's got a good body on it. Yeah, it does. It has good color on it, too. <laughs> so I think this is that one that if you still have the, the right colored hood. The hood's over here, but it's got a dent on the front left corner here. But it's not there. Yeah.
Are both, you said both of these are parts fired? Yeah, I got about, you know, those, I think there's three of those convertibles. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> and there's probably enough there to make another Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. Bullet oh. bird. Now, here's the, the one that I, I mean, oh. You need the front clip off of this one, yeah. And um, I don't know how to cut this stuff. Oh, you're not? No. I like the I like little hard tops, that's too hard top. Yeah. Munch. Oh, munch. Did you get this one out of the salvage yard? No. Friend rolled that down, the, down south here. And, uh oh. <laughs> it uh, don't have any wild ice. It's run just like new. That happened. That's too bad. Hmm. What drivetrain is in it? It's got the V8. Mm-hmm. They didn't put a big block in that, did they? No. Surely not. That's a good looking. Would have been a good looking car, right? Okay, some Falcons. A little Mercury. You got some house moving supplies. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he says. Just for, just for fun. Yeah, we do everything ourselves. Yeah. There's What's the story on this Pontiac? That's a, well, that Chevy there is a real good solid car. It just needs a transmission. Yeah. Uh, the Pontiac. Uh, just it got hit here. And, I drove that car for several years. Now, I, it's got the 400 in it. And, uh, you know, that's not going to get 20 some mile a gallon. Easy. Really? But, uh, now, it was, when I parked it, it run good. But I came out to start it one time and it wouldn't start. And, uh, but uh, it did run in park. Really neat Pontiac badge. So this is a 74? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Pinched that door to where it... How it did? Hmm. Oh yeah, it's kind of dropped. Yep. <laughs> I see there's a few looking fine notes like that. I don't know much about the 74 model year, really. I think it's what they like about it just is in here that color. Yeah. Hmm. Let's, we should probably go down here, huh? Yeah. Now this is a good old car. It's a good straight body. Oh, yeah. Tim likes his 60s and 70s GM. He probably figured that out yeah. if you watch the videos. He loves them. And uh, I think this one here had a little leak in the head on it. Yeah. But otherwise, it was a good running car. Do you, do you advertise complete cars on eBay? I've never advertised complete cars. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't parted part it out. Man. Yeah. Most of, them, most of them I put together and so on and so forth. The car yeah. Buick's is going to Sweden. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I mean, but do you do you advertise the cars, the the complete car project on eBay? Is that what you do, or do uh, you just put it on there and the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've never give sold all it. the detail. Yeah. Well, sure. P tons of pictures, and I'll let you know about it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tim Sport Fury. Yeah, sixty-seven. This is the convertible. Mm -hmm. Tim, do which one do you like better? Mm. The convertible or the... I like that hard top. That back swept. I like the yeah. back swept. It's got the good, 
Good fastback look, yeah. There was a guy, you probably saw that sale last summer. He collected 67 and 8 Furies, and he had probably 20 or 30 of them. <laughs> yeah, that was his year. <laughs> This is one like old Dave Little put together a back here a year or so back. Oh, he put together a 65. Now, see, this is the Galaxy. It's got the Thunderbird interior. Oh, yeah. It's missing the buck feet out of it right now. Yeah. It's got the console. I think that's a beautiful car. Yeah. I, that's, I'm with you on that. I like the, the vertical headlights. got that long look to it. Yeah, my favorite one though is the 67 that has that kind of the, the pointed grill and yeah. hood. Well, isn't that what those are over there? Those two? No, those are 66. The, the, the grill's a little bit more flat. Right. Those are, those are 66. Got the parts car for it. Yeah. It's a pretty straight car. Too bad to cut this one up. <laughs> it's a good running car. Wow. Well. <laughs> 352. Got the old sunflowers. Oh yeah. Hmm. What's that a parts car for? Which one's that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> <coughs> now here, this is the motor now that can move it. No. Oh really? I haven't checked to see if that's pretty good. Hmm. Four, four which side is the dipstick on? Not this side. Dun, dun, dun. Is it on that? Yep. Driver's side dipstick. No, can't check the oil. Oh. Might be seized up. That's a big motor. <laughs> Well, no carb on it. Been sitting out in the weather for a while. But that's in that goes in that uh, convertible. Was that the sixty one or the sixty five? Okay. Yep. It had the trans standard transmission. It's got all the yep. parts there for it. Hmm. Now this engine right here, let's see if we can set it One's a fifty nine, one's a thirty eight. Anyhow the thirty eight. I had when I was in school in grade school. <laughs> wow. And the other one was uh, 50, 49. The other one there. But, you know, this is the other one. This is the old, yeah, this is 38 here. Yeah, the spider. Yeah. Distributor. But they was both good running engines. And, now, you know how to, uh, you've heard how to uh, up the horsepower on those things. What's that? They, and I only seen it once advertised. For years, I didn't think anybody knew it. But on the fuel pump, they'd take and cut a piece off your belt, uh -huh. stick it into that fuel pump, and it'd boost that, that horsepower on that engine, give it more fuel. Uh, in fact, it, it hasn't probably in the last month, somebody said, done that on the internet. I've seen them where they're saying they've done that. Rediscovering old tricks, huh? Yeah. That's there back then. Well, a lot. My dad told me, says, You can't have another car until that quits you. And I was out to get rid of that car. You see, so you ran like a well, scalded okay. dog. <laughs> I pulled in my uncle's place and I said, I finally got her done. It went bad on me. He took his belt off and cut that piece off and stuck it in there. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I seen uh, just on the internet here the last month or two, somebody done that. Huh. Huh. Ooh, what year is the 
it's a later one. It'd be 70 or 71. That's a sunroof car. power plant this huge old hood and it still fills up the whole bay very cool oh you were in here recently yeah dutifully lubed moving parts yeah you must have taken pictures of it recently uh, i think i he was turning motors turning motors oh yeah hmm. okay there's the 56 ford station wagon missing the trim the you probably everything. have the trim somewhere. It's all inside there. Oh. <laughs> all the trims inside. That's a cool. Cool color. Yeah, see that. It's a cool color on it. It's got the Thunderbird V8. I don't know if I've seen a visor like this before. Like that? I had a 53 that was similar. Kind of like a helmet looking thing. Mm -hmm. Studebaker. What's that aluminum truck frame off of? The uh, old 55 Kenwood. Okay. I remember that because we were at an auction. You might have seen that auction. There was a couple of old uh, trucks out back on the scrapper box. I was for good money because of the aluminum. Classic tire, Golf Deluxe Crown. Sold so fast, I did change lined up. And then I've been mm -hmm. off for a couple of years here. This, uh, this yeah. kind of you sold this behind. whole place or just part of it? No, yeah. just the other side of the fence here. Oh, oh. For those buildings and the brick houses. Okay. And then we used to have a big farm yeah. out. Sure. So this car was converted? No, it's the original. That, but they sectioned in. I cut that off because yeah. Oh, I see the. Hmm. What what was it that happened to it? Oh, I see. <laughs> Is that a Colorado thing? So it's been. Well, if they couldn't find a toilet, there's a car. <laughs> oh, a, a porta john. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the. Uh, no, the old. 53 Pawnee. Uh -huh. Yeah, an outhouse, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Kansas farm kid fun there. Oh, well. They do stupid stuff like that.